Pasadena. And as we journey through the historic neighborhood of Beacon Hill, I'm going to give you a little bit more information on the types of housing you'll find here. Now often thought of as more of a village than a city, this neighborhood is bounded by Beacon Street, Bowdoin Street, Cambridge Street, and Storrow Drive. This 19th century neighborhood consists mainly of brick row houses that are accented by beautiful doors with brass knockers, decorative ironwork, perpetually burning gas lights, and cobblestone streets. Created with Federal, Greek Revival, and Victorian influences, the architecture of these homes is protected by restrictive regulations that allow no changes to any visible part of the structure without the approval of an architectural commission. Now, the townhouses you see facing the commons were built in 1805 and designed by a man by the name of Charles Bullfinch. He was often called America's first city planner. These were residential homes until about the early 1870s, which was also around the time that the South End was being completed. The housing quality on Beacon Hill is generally good, however a few poor quality or bargain houses do exist. The majority of these homes include heat and hot water in the ramp. Beacon Hill contains some of the oldest housing stock in the city, and these three to four story apartment buildings containing about 10 units range in price anywhere between $660 for every square foot and the cheapest apartment, which is usually about a one bedroom, to about $1,258 for every square foot. So as you can see, these homes are very expensive. However, the value of these homes is not only marked by its historical importance, but also by its location. Being easily accessible to public transit, the Beacon Hill area is also within walking distance of popular places in Boston, such as the Esplanade, Haymarket, Faneuil Hall, and the Downtown Shopping Center. Because it is so accessible by foot, parking here is very limited and reserved for those who live here. Residential parking stickers are required. So that concludes our journey for today, and I'll see you next time on my Super Short Show.